uh, call the meeting to order. Um, first on the agenda is we have two um, sets of minutes to approve, and then we'll have some additions of some others in the next section. So I'd entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the July 21st, 2021 meeting and the July 27th, 2021 meeting. So moved. Second. Any discussion? I would just add that Connie has been working very diligently to get us caught back up and she's got us within a couple. So in a matter of a few days. All right, motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. None opposed, no abstentions. Four, oh. And I should, I should also make note that uh, Allison is away. So she is enjoying us this evening. All right, for additions and deletions, we have uh, meeting minutes from 810 and 824. Also a correspondence from Kim McDougall and under section of old business 8.2, we're taking that off because we don't have the material that Allison wanted to discuss um, or give her permission to send out the letter. So as far as the additions and deletions, we have the two minutes, um, 810 and 824. Entertain a motion to accept those minutes. So moved. Second. Moved and second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Um, any opposed and no um, abstentions? Four. Okay, so we have no members of the public. Um, correspondence. This is. In, this is under section five. This memo came in as this woman is having problems um, accessing their camp at the end of Maggie Ladd Road. Um, do we have any, do we have any um, class four, class three? Uh, he can't block that road, is that? Correct, it is class three okay. up to the farm. And then it changes to class four. I don't know the mileage, but it goes up to the top of the mountain as a class four. Okay. I don't know the mileage off the top. I think of the there's been a problem with that before if it's yeah. being blocked. Yeah, it is. So I took a ride up there yesterday once I got copied that email and the road is blocked. Robert was not home. He was out getting hay. I left a message with his wife. Okay. So we'll follow this up next time. You, um, you'll follow it up right away, but we'll get a report next time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You got that? Okay. Warrant. Yeah, go ahead. Make a motion to pay the warrant, starting with number one payroll in the amount of $10,516.49. Number two payroll tax in the amount of $4,682.28. Number three general fund in the amount of $31,253.79. Number four, general fund in the amount of $15,708. Number five, general fund in the amount of $465.75. Number six, the highway fund in the amount of $31,146.47. Number seven, highway fund in the amount of $19. Number eight, equipment fund in the amount of $1,729.21. Number nine, the equipment fund in the amount of $23.31. And the general fund in the amount of $672.778. Uh, let me start off. Yep. $672,778.78. For a total of seven hundred and sixty-eight thousand three hundred twenty-two dollars fifty-five cents. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Do we have discussion? That uh, I just want to point out that number ten is the school um, that was submitted today, and that that's the that's the big increase. This should have been on um, I think the set. September 17th or something like that was a deadline, but it never got here until today. 
So is there any discussion on all of any of those 10? Okay. All those in favor of being check warrants one through 10 for a total of $768,322.55, signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, four full scores of that. Okay, the town, uh, Steve, why don't you go ahead with your roadside mowing is complete. The tractor's been returned. Jason Brothers gave me an update today that Wyndham Hill is scheduled to be paved next Thursday. And we are cleaning ditches and outlets on towns and acres right now. On August 17th, I had to place an order for purple garbage bags. On mid-September, I was notified that our order had been canceled. When I called them to find out why, there is an industry-wide resin shortage. And the bad company, which is located in North Carolina, uh, the sales reps were instructed to cancel every order under 300 cases. A typical size order for us is 90 cases, and 90 cases last approximately 20 months. What they're offering municipalities that are in the same situation as we are is surplus inventory at a 40% discount. So I ordered 50 cases of South Berwick, Maine, which will be <laughs> our new bag starting in about three weeks. The purple bag inventory will be flushed out of River Bend and Harmonyville. And then we'll start seeing this bag from Maine as our new accepted bag until we can get purple bags again. <laughs> they can't give me a, a clue as to when. They didn't expect that the, this issue would be resolved in the near future. So I got us enough bags to last about a year, like at, at a 40% discount. So I will explain everything to Riverbend, Harmonyville, Eddie, town clerk, what this is all about. What's the resin used for? What's the resin? So anything to do with plastic. Yeah, okay. So the plastic bags, I can't get culverts because there's a shortage of resin. So the whole plastic industry is getting hit with shortages of supply of resin pellets that they use to make plastic. Hmm. And that's all I have. Okay. Any questions for Steve? Okay. Um, we have the treasurer's report that's come in. Um, $1,686,522.13 in the investment fund and $30,000 in the checking account. We have no town clerk's counter this week. Um, budget session. I sent out a memo. Um, I've been sending out so many memos, I can't keep track of them all. But I sent out a memo to all the department heads um, to start preparing for budget season. I've asked them that on October 1st, Elaine is going to send out the worksheets. They're to be back by October 31st, and then we can start our setting up meetings from there. I've also told them to prepare to be at one of these budget meetings to answer questions about their submissions and to be frugal. The other thing I had was this, uh, I gave it to you, this directive to everyone about issue going on with Back Wyndham Road and that the attorney's uh, been consulted and it'll be moving forward through him. Let's see, law enforcement update. Under old business, uh, we did hear back from Lieutenant French State Police Office and they're gonna have their contract submitted to us to sign or approve and sign um, shortly. Now, let's see. Number two, uh, 8.2 is, uh, is scratched because we don't have the information. Um, 8.3, the line of credit that was requested a few weeks ago for um, $300,000 to uh, 
get us through some of these uh, disaster relief things and some of the crunches that are going to be put on our cash flow. We have a document to sign. Um, it's in your packet. It's also going to be in the warrant signature folders. We also need to discuss, um, this is probably more for uh, uh, internal type discussion about who will be able to request funds out of that who can sign off on it. Thanks asking specifically for that. Under new business, Vermont Alerts, in the packet is a uh, document for, uh, it's a memorandum for Vermont Emergency Management to have us join the Vermont Alerts program. It costs nothing for us other than uh, having to do some training with the state. It's free to any municipality in the state. And essentially what this does is people who sign up for Vermont Alerts or through geotagging come into the town and there's an active alert going on, such as road closed, flooded, fire blocked, uh, fire apparatus in the road, any of those things that the general public really needs to know about in an emergency or disaster, um, we can send the alerts out ourselves. The only, op the only thing we have to do is, uh, is uh, adopt it, promote it when we can, uh, going on to Vermont Alerts costs nothing for the general public and uh, they can select what alerts they get. But this will help us in getting the message out with floods, um, uh, road closures. I can tell you that when we had the uh, problem, not this last storm, but the Christmas storm, um, we had to close a uh, road and it took almost two hours to go up through this, the chase the state's chain of command in order to get it done and we can do it right from right from a computer or a phone. Um, I just need to, uh, I need to sign this but I also need to get your approval uh, for it. So I'd entertain a motion to adopt the Vermont Alerts system um, for the town of Townsend. So is there any further discussion? Where do the alerts come they, through? They are generated on uh, cell phones, um, social media, um, computers. All you have to do is be a subscriber to Vermont Alerts. And if you're a subscriber to Vermont Alerts and you're passing through this area and Route 30 is closed and we send out the message, the minute you cross the town line, within a few minutes, you'll get, you'll get notice that there's something going on here. We can also use it in a broader capacity to alert, alert our own people. So uh, that's more to follow with that once we get it all the way. Okay? I think people will be interested in that. Yeah, well, it's easy and it's it's something that you can shut off real easily. Mm -hmm. You don't have to subscribe to a lot, just one place. Um, I didn't hear who seconded the motion. Second. All right. Okay. He moved. He moved. He yeah. seconded. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Four roll. All right, so we'll get that out for the state. Um, the Historical Society is asking to use the building. Um, for on November 14th from 2 to 5, Charlie Marchand is the one requesting it. Um, I'd make a motion to allow the Historical Society to use the building on November 14th from 2 to 5, and I would throw out to waive the, the fee having it be a town okay. operated function. Second. Any discussion? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 I will close for Okay. Um, we have nothing for an executive session unless uh, um, either of you or any of you have something to throw out that we should discuss. And uh, we are done. 15 minutes. You're the mayor. 14 minutes. <laughs> um, motion to adjourn. So. Second. Second.
All right. Aye, aye. So everybody's motioned aye, aye. in on that one. So we're done. <laughs>